performing a live concert with backstage interviews with past and current videos. Uh, excuse me, cast member. Idiot, stupid. With past members of the band and new members of the band. Documentary soon to be released on DVD and classic VHS. Or you're gonna end up living in a van down by the river. Green Jello Song! friend's attic. We were 17 years old, 12th grade high school. When you go to see a band like that, you're paying for that experience and you're seeing something that you're just not going to see normally. And you know, and, and, and word would get around like, you got to see this band, they're fucking crazy. They did this, they did that, they did what? We, all of a sudden, we got nominated for a Grammy. They gave me a check for two million dollars. set up a green jello band in every state across America. A complete set of strangers that I meet on the internet pick me up and then they take me to their house and I sleep at their house. We hang out and we have bonding moments that make us friends and we dress up in costumes and we have fun. Then you repeat. The whole object of touring is it to actually play the songs for the hour. It's to visit for the other 23 hours where we are at. You can't live off your art. That's the problem. Because you can't penetrate the hymen of the mainstream and get to the public. But what you can do is go go and self-distribute, and uh, or you have to go out to Hollywood and suck dick. There's no middle ground. Every time I come to fucking Canada, shit happens, man. I don't know, I love Canada. Canada's so fun. Everyone's so nice in the day. Oh, hey. Want a cup of beer, eh? There's some coffee, and then at nighttime, they all get drunk and fucking change into these, like, psychopaths. They get all drunk and crazy. Hey!